Kristen, Macbeth and Banquo clearly have feelings for each other. Joe, Isaac, get your feet off the table. Sorry, I'm late. The train is delayed. It's fine. Just don't any interrupt anymore. Would anyone like to tell Kazo what we've been working on? Zach? Pretty much just been talking about uh, the beginning of Macbeth, and we went over foul is fair and fair is foul, what the witches say, uh -huh. and which pretty much means how good is horrible and horrible is like beautiful. Is that so good? Well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, great. So, so well. everybody knows we're going to be reading the first act out loud because that lays down the foundation of the play. Okay. Who? Let's assign parts. Who wants to be what? Uh, we got Duncan. Joe, uh, we need a Malcolm, Elijah, and uh, I'll be the captain because there's so many lines. Okay, uh, Joe, take it away. What bloody man is that? He were forced to know this boy can tell me what went down. He looks so beaten and bloody his outfit would make a freight train take the dirt road. This booger up cowboy knows firsthand the tale of the shootout. Tell us, cowboy. Boy, you should have seen the shootout. There was McDonald, one of the roughest outlaws I ever saw. He was bulldozing, saying he would turn all the cowboys into a bone orchard. But there was Macbeth. Boy, he earns the title of the roughest, toughest outlaw in the wild, wild west. Macbeth shot his way through all McDonald's men, the buttons he calls his army. Macbeth and his canister faced off against the darn outlaw, and McDonald was as dead as a whorehouse on a Tuesday afternoon. Woo wee! I don't believe my ears. What a man, what a man. I'm as pleased as a pup with two tails. I do have some news. It's a, more bitter than an overcooked turnip. Fortunately, the sheriff tried to get some outlaws to turn against you. All's well now, but the title of sheriff's is free as the wind. Ah! I might have been clipped by one of McDonald's men. Well now, Macbeth will be honored as the sheriff for his bravery in this shootout. Go tend your wounds, cowboy. You're as tough as nails to be dealing with this pain. Thanks, sir. This day has been as foul as a burn boot and as fair as the Reverend's daughters. Whoa. Look, dear Macbeth, look at that crazy loon. She's just worse than a new shear sheep, and her face looks like a dime's worth of dog meat. Chop off my legs and call me shorty if that creature's born bred from this planet. indeed from this planet. I am fortune teller, seeker of truth and beholder of future. Look who it is, Macbeth, the brave deputy sheriff, the newest sheriff of the West. Oh well, shoot your gun in the air for Mayor Macbeth. Only that news a hoot and a half. Darn Macbeth, even though this news is fine as the first sip of cold brew, you look like this news is all beer and Skittles. <sighs> Tell me, wench, you give only news to my fired friend. If you really see the future, bring mine here. If not, I ask no ads. Well, 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 Banquo. All of your descendants will become the mayor. Macbeth and Banquo, hail! My stars? Did the wench appear before us and I drink too much of the creature. Well, looky here, if it ain't the talk of the town, Macbeth. Your gunslinging moves today only fits your rainy, tough reputation. You're one tough cowboy. And for that, you not only get us called as Reverend as an ox by the mayor, but you get the title of sheriff. The fortune teller was right. What about the sheriff? At last, he may still be alive, but he was moonshine. Because he's such a no-good, backstabbing bum. We're rowing up on the deputy and then having his head chopped off. The hag was one truth teller. Now, I'm not just deputy sheriff, but I'm the head sheriff, and the best part is yet to come. Thank you, sir, for making me sheriff. The broth of your own shillelagh will be the new mayor's. Don't be no reckless road agent now. The whole thing is out of whack. It's as strange as an owl attacking a falcon. The real evil creatures are the ones like that damn old fortune teller. We'll tell you the only part of fate which makes the humbling all the more real. It always ends up being the cowboy that shoots himself in the boot. They may seem honest, but they are just smoke and horse feathers, I tell you. The witch done give me not one, but two truths. That means that I'll be mayor quicker than the death of injured deer by a hunger lion. This don't seem like no old hornswoggle. If it cross-grained, 
Why was I given something true? If it indeed all good, as cut and dry as a stale turkey, then why am I spooked as a horse at nightfall? I keep seeing Mayor Duncan cold as a wagon tire. My hair stands on my end and my legs feel wobbly and no good. Look at me, having some conniption fit. The colors are moving my actions. Tomorrow, we'll have a huskin' at your house. We'll have a damn good time. Not only are you named Sheriff, but my son Malcolm, I decide, will be the next mayor after I grow old. He'll be the newest law marshal. Oh, that's just another, another puddle I must jump over. I hope the sky brings cloud and mist. Hide your bright desires. I mustn't be too late now. Go home and tell my gal the stories of today. Oh my heavens, oh my stars. You're not only the deputy sheriff, but now you're the sheriff. And you are going to be the mayor, just like they swore. But I know you, and deep down, you are as sweet as a bear's honey. You don't want to do anything bad, and you want to be completely just, but without that, you can't be the mayor. You can't eat your meat without killing the horse. So rush home now quickly so that I can take the rocks that fill your boots and weigh you down. This letter says that you'll ride into our lovely home during the night. So come now, dark fortunes. Take away my southern belt instincts and replace it with a cutthroat outlaw. Make my blood as thick as mud after a rainstorm so that there's no passageway for remorse. Oh, Sheriff, your letter has sent me like a horse to a hay for the present day. I can already feel the future. Darling, Duncan plans to stay the night and leave in the morning. He's right behind me. That day will never come. You must bury your bad intentions like a dog with a bone. This ain't the last we'll speak of this, you hear? Act like a young button with no suspicion. I'll do the rest. If all this backdoor trots were to be done when I slung my six-shooter, then I reckon that I'd best get this business done with. It could work like strong rope, catching up all the mean deeds, the murder being the be-all and end-all. I would put up my boots, my best horse, and my soul if I was still considered tough after taking this cheap route. If I act violent like a rabid dog, I would only be infecting others. I'm, I'm trusted by the mayor. We share not only the love of justice, but actual blood. He's the only tough yet kind mayor we have yet to have. I reckon he is the best leader on the, this side of the Mississippi. The only thing that loads my gun is my desires. I, I, I could end up missing and get clipped by my own six shooter. Tell this ask you. Where are you coming off to? I'll grab my reins before my horse can leave the stampede. It is easier to catch flies with honey than vinegar. I don't want to throw my honors away like a tumbleweed in the wind, you know? Have you taken more and more swings from my personal brew? You look whiter than cotton. Is your ambition just like your love? Do you want to leave the town or do you want to meet Miss Nancy? Shut your mouth, darling. When a line is crossed, the word tough already ran away. When you came to me with your ambitions high, you were tough. The time and place was once wrong, but now it's right. I swear to you, on my southern pride, that if I was feeding a young one, as it was shown, as it showed me its pearly whites, I would take the babe and throw it in like a rock of the river. If I had sworn to you the way you sworn to me. And if we miss a shot? Miss our shot. After travel, Duncan will sleep like a bear in the woods. I'll take the servants and give them to some brew to slay their memories. Then Duncan will be as open as a desert. He can give the gun that is used and place it in the servants' paws. No one will ever suspect us. They'll blame it all on the nasty servants. Then I'll be as firm as an oak tree. Go on and pretend to be the sweet bell that you always are. I wonder what Macbeth would be like as a soap opera. Such a dark night tonight. Yes, Father. There's no moon. This darkness is making me feel sleepy. And yet I cannot sleep. Nightmares torture me when I sleep. I fear to even rest my eyes. Someone's here. Who's there? It's only me and Macbeth. Why are you not asleep? Can you not sleep either? Yes, you too? Last night I dreamt of fortune tellers. Some of what they predicted came true. Yes, and if I run the family company, I'll be sure to take you along with me. I will do what is needed, as long as I can keep a clear conscience. Why am I seeing this? If not real, why can I see you? Are you a figment of my imagination? Something I'm seeing from my stressed mind? But it looks so real. It looks like the one I was going to use. 
Why is this vision leading me further down this path? Why is this happening? I can see you. I can see the blood on you. My plans are driving me insane. I must be silent. And I must act quickly. Consider it done. I've done it now. Duncan's asleep. His men are drunk. Everything's going according to plan. Who's there? I did it. I killed him. Did anyone hear me? I only heard crickets. Did anyone see me? Don't overthink it. You're just stressed out. I could have sworn some I heard someone yelling Macbeth is a murderer. Get a hold of yourself, man! <gasps> Let's go back to bed. We've done enough for tonight. Okay, I gotta read all of Act 3 for homework. Kristen's crazy. Thou hast now. King. God. Can't sleep again. Now he has it all. Won the election. Came vice president. Now Duncan's been impeached. And he's president. Just like the fortune teller said he'd be. But I feel like he set Duncan up. But it was prophesied that my son would win the next election. So if the fortune teller is right, then maybe what they said about me will come true too. But I'm done. This is nonsense. I gotta get some sleep. Have you thought about my offer? I showed you how bank was the real reason you're in prison. All you have to do is make it look like an accident, and nobody will even know you've been released. Yes, we have considered your offer. And? I showed you how bad Banco really is. Are you just going to forgive him for, for, give, for giving you a sentence of 20 years? Of course not. We are men. If you are men, then prove it. And remember, you can't just kill Banco. You must kill his son, too, because he's next in line. We have nothing to lose. Consider it done. Very good, then. I guess we have a deal. How come he's president, yet I don't feel happy? You did the right thing. Now your husband is in control. It's what you wanted. It's what he wanted. But how come I don't feel happy? Tell him to look happy and cheerful. Remember we are having dinner with all the congressmen tonight. Why do you look so distressed? What's done is done. I can't take these sleepless nights. We've done the worst thing possible. Relax. Be happy and don't act suspicious. We're having guests tonight. You're right. Do me a favor. Give Bengal all your attention tonight. Make him feel important. We must flatter him because he's a threat to us until he's no longer around. Who are you? I'm here the same reason you are. Who sent you? President, of course. Alrighty then. Look, there's Bengal and his son. Get him. Oh, what? What? Away. Let's go tell Macbeth. Yeah, I just want to thank you guys for coming out tonight. Uh, even though I'm the president of whatever, I think uh, it's important to, to stay in touch. You know, um, one second, I I gotta I gotta deal with something right now. I got your message. Yeah, we killed Banquo. And Fleance? He escaped. Damn it! Fleance is a threat, but I guess if Bank was dead, that's, that's pretty good too. Yeah, we got him good. No one will ever know. Good. You're free to go. What was that? What's it? That noise. That. What was that? One sec. Bank Who's doing this? Who's playing a trick on me? What's wrong? You can't say I did this. Is he okay? I'm so sorry, everyone. Thank you for coming. The president is fine. Everything is just getting to him. He will rest up and be good as new tomorrow. What's wrong? Let's go get some rest. Does he not frighten you? Did you invite McDuff? Yes, but I also noticed that he didn't show up. I have ears everywhere. I'm the president. 
Come on, let's go get some rest. Tomorrow, while it's early, I'll see the fortune teller. Let's just go. What are you doing, you filthy hag? A deed without a name. I need to know what's going to happen. Be well met up. I already knew that. No man can harm you. That's, that's good, that's great. I mean, I guess I'm invincible. As long as the store Luigi's stays open, you will be safe. What, is, what does that mean? Tell me more. No more. Tell me what this means, you filthy hag. Tell me. Oh, God, I gotta finish this read. Oh, I'll just text Kazo about it. Sarah, your father's dead. And what will you do now? How will you live? McDuff's is filmed in front of a live studio audience. That's when I said I have to go back to fight, not get my knife. <laughs> <laughs> to doy. <laughs> oh, son, you're the best. I wonder who that is. I bet it's McDunwald. <laughs> Ross, what are you doing here? I have a message for you. Gosh, Dad, so silly. So you're telling me that Macduff left? Yep. What a doofus. <laughs> he must have eaten from the <laughs> insane root. Hey, he's a really good guy. I'm so mad. I'm going to kill him. I'm so mad that it's getting hot in here. No, Mom, you just broke the thermostat. <laughs> well, I got to go. I have a meeting. Classic Ross. <laughs> Man, that husband of mine. What a goofball. <laughs> Why don't you just get a new one? <laughs> You're too much. Man, two visitors in one day? What are we running, a hotel? <laughs> McDuffs, thank God I got to you. Why, what's wrong? I don't know, something bad's gonna happen. You guys have to watch out. There's nothing to worry about. Jeez, where are you guys getting all this insane room? <laughs> I'm sure it's fine, just go. Wow, what a weird day. I know, what else could possibly happen? I think we gotta take a moment, you know, to commiserate. No, we got a duty to protect the family. The family is suffering, and we gotta fight for it. You know, maybe you'd be better off letting me take the fall in the eyes of the Don. Just to save yourself. I won't betray you like that. But Don Macbeth has. It's hard to tell whether someone's on our side. Even good people can uh, become evil under the pressure from the Don. What can we possibly do? The family's in ruins. I agree. The family is suffering. Yet I fear that we may, may struggle more under me as the next Don. I got a gambling problem that could be detrimental to the family. I'm sure we'd be able to satisfy your needs. We got enough cash. Nothing could be more horrible than Don Macbeth. I'm no good. Do you really think I could be the next Don? No. I want the good for the family. And I'm sorry, Malcolm, but you ain't it. I'm glad to hear that. I just wanted to make sure that you weren't one of Don Macbeth's blockheaded pawns. Oh, okay. I got you. Okay. I got some bad news for you, Macduff. We'll spit it out. Your whole family's been killed. What? My wife? Uh-huh. My kids, too? As I said, we gotta get after him. How dare he mess with us? We need revenge. Come on, be a man. Yeah, but... Just, just give me a second. Get revenge! Look, I'm not gonna make a fuss. I'm just gonna kill him. And if I fail, I'll let him be. Don't you think uh, Lady Macbeth is acting a little strange? Yeah, she's been sleepwalking and mumbling to herself. Something about washing her hands or something. This blood won't come off my hands. Ugh, I never thought the dawn would be so violent. We're in too deep. We're safe though. Banquo's dead. Did you hear? Malcolm's gonna overthrow the dawn. About time. That fool could never live up to the great dawn. I heard that they're going to close up their shop Luigi so they can all bring their men into the throw den. I feel awful. This battle will either make or break me. 
I'm an old man without friends, followers, love, or even respect. People only pretend to respect me because I'm the Don. I guess after what I've done, I can't expect that from them. There is a fight brewing. Give me my gun. And how's the missus? She is quite troubled by, by thoughts. She isn't sleeping well. And what about the battle? I ain't got nothing to worry about. As long as Luigi's is open, I think I'll be good. What was that? I think it was a woman. Go check. It's been so long since something like that has startled me. I've practically forgotten what fear is like. What was the noise? Lady Macbeth has died. I can't deal with this right now. I've got a battle. If only I could stop and think about this. Only a fool lives for tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. In the end, we're all just fools headed to death. If only it would just be over. There's no point anymore. Life is just a big hullabaloo, you know? In the end, it doesn't mean anything. Um, sir? What is it? Um, well, I'm not really sure how to put this, but, uh, Luigi's is closing. You dirty liar! <sighs> it's true. I'll kill you if you're lying to me. If not, you might as well just kill me. I was told I would be invincible if Luigi's was open, and now suddenly it's closed? At least one with a bang. Joke's on you. No man can kill me. I was born a woman. I identify as a man. Congrats, Don Malcolm. Macbeth sleeps with the fishes. Alright, let's celebrate the end of Don Macbeth and his wife. So thanks to all at once and to each to one, whom we invite to see us crowned at Scone. Are you okay? Yeah, I just quite a dream.